Survivors of the late University of Michigan doctor Robert Anderson addressed the Board of Regents this afternoon. Now, this comes after university leaders approved policy changes aimed at preventing future abuse. Anderson is believed to have sexually abused hundreds of his patients, possibly as many as 850, during his decades at Michigan. Many of them football players or other student athletes. The survivors called on the university to cooperate with the state investigation into Anderson. One survivor who came forward for the first time said the abuse he suffered put him down a path that led him to lose his company, destroy his relationships with his sons, and sent him to prison. As I think about the tragedies which have hit my life, they funnel down to one seminal event, the rape of Robert Kelly by the predator Dr. Robert Anderson, empowered and allowed to do so by the University of Michigan as it was notified of his conduct repeatedly. Coaches, trainers, and school officials all knew, but did not stop Anderson. Earlier in the meeting, University President Mark Schlissel announced a series of policy changes meant to prevent sexual abuse. Among the changes is a replacing the university's Office for Institutional Equity with the new Equity, Civil Rights, and Title IX Office. And it would report directly to the university president and add more employees to take and investigate complaints.